Now, for most of you, you have transitioned into virtual music lessons. I know that I have for one. And this video is gonna be just explaining how all of us get the best audio from our students, if you're a teacher, and for the student who's watching how to get the best audio from your teacher. So this is gonna be a great tutorial for both the teacher and the student. So watch until the end of the video. All right, so right now I'm using a PC, but this tutorial will be applicable for anyone who's using a Mac. So just wanted to note in the beginning of this video. So this is assuming that you already have the Zoom app downloaded on your computer. If you do not have the Zoom app downloaded on your computer, go ahead and do so right now. Click the pause button and download the app. And then you can follow me from here. So I'm gonna go to Zoom and over here, it's for me, it's the top left corner. And you're gonna find a lot of different options here. New meeting, join, share screen, schedule. Makes it very convenient for anyone who's starting to do video lessons or for anyone who will be receiving video lessons with their teacher just to get familiar with um, the interface that Zoom offers you in the home page. You also have home, chat, meetings, contacts on the top here, and also a little um, little place where all the teachers can see their upcoming lessons for the day. Today is Thursday for me as of this video, so I actually don't do lessons on Thursdays, but mostly Fridays and Saturdays, which is why this place is empty. But most importantly, we're going to be talking about the audio in Zoom and how to get the best audio for music lessons. Now, people have been talking about music mode. Music mode has been a common theme, common topic going um, into this COVID-19 crisis. And I just want to make sure that everybody knows that for some reason I can't find the music mode, but I'm going to show you how to get the best audio from Zoom. So you're going to click on, uh, let me go back here. You're going to go click on settings in the Zoom app, which is the top right corner of the page. This is right below your little icon here. And then you're going to go to audio. You're going to click on audio. And actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to switch this to my external mic, which is the Shure MV51. I highly recommend it for teachers who are going to be um, or who are exploring video lessons with their students during this time. There will be a link provided in the description below for you to take a look at. Now, we're going to go down here to advance, which is the bottom right corner, this advanced tab, and you're going to see uh, various options here. First off, you're going to see show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. This is important because you have, you originally it's going to be like that. It's going to be unchecked, but you're going to check that. And uh, based on reading from various Facebook groups, Facebook forums, posts, a lot of teachers were concerned with the fact that they weren't getting the exact sound that they wanted. And this actually prevents you from doing just that. So I remember when I was first doing Zoom lessons, my violin sounded like it was A432, which is unreal. So it was due to the fact that this button here was not checked. So please make sure to check that. Once you check that, you're going to have audio processing down here. You have suppress persistent background noise, suppress intermittent background noise, and you want these two options disabled. You could ignore the echo cancellation. I usually have it on auto and uh, my students really don't have a problem in hearing me in terms of the echo, so don't worry about that. So just to give you an idea of the persistent background noise, what it's all about, uh, it continuously suppresses background noise around your locations, such as fans and air conditioning, and you want that disabled. You have various options, auto, moderate, aggressive, and disable. You want that on disable. And the suppress intermittent background noise uses deep learning to suppress intermittent background noise, such as keyboard sounds, tapping doors, and chair movement, and you want that on disable as well. The reason why you want it disabled, these two options you want disabled, is because Zoom doesn't recognize violin sounds or even any instrument sounds for that matter as its own voice. So what it will do, it'll rec the software will recognize the sounds as background noise and it's gonna mute it. So that way whoever's speaking in the lesson can actually hear you. 
However, this actually prevents that. You know, you want the, this actually reduces the amount of vacuum sound that you get and muted sound by enabling these two options disable um, both the persistent and intermittent background noise. So there you have it. It's actually really simple to get the really good sound from Zoom. So let's just recap. You have this home page here. You're going to go down. Actually, you're going to go to the upper right corner. Click on settings here. Go to the left. Click on audio. If you have an external microphone, excellent. Make sure you put that on as well. In the meantime, if you forget or if your computer is acting up, make sure that setting is on. You go to advanced make sure this box is checked for the show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. And I want to be clear that once you start the video lesson as a teacher or a student, you're going to have this option to enable original sound on the top left corner of your video screen. So make sure that it's clicked on turn on. And then once you do that, the audio processing, pretty simple. You keep these two options disabled so that way you, the sound doesn't vacuum, it doesn't mute. You get the consistent, accurate sound for your video lessons. I hope this small tutorial helps. And if you liked what you've heard, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and other uh, platforms for violent podcasts.